I wanted to check in just to say hi and to really talk about oral hygiene. So everyone knows how to brush their teeth, but not everyone is brushing their teeth properly. So we're going to go through the motions. Here we go. We're going to place you guys. All right. I think you have a good view. We're going to start with my Sensodyne. Excuse me, not Sensodyne, my Sonicare. Um, there, it has multiple settings. If you could see down here, it says clean, gum health, and deep clean. So I'm going to just go with clean, right? That's the lightest setting. I'm going to use my Just Jack's Clove formula. This is the container it comes in. You guys can take a look. Uh, it's coconut oil based. Hi, Max. Max de España, ¿cómo estás? All right, usually I have a spatula. It's a small spatula. This is the amount, this is the size that you need when you uh, use the product. It's just a pea size. This is what it's gonna look like. And we begin. do it step by step so the bottom down here at the bottom you have uh, salivary glands right so you produce more saliva down here at the bottom which sometimes means more um, plaque will stick to the bottom insides usually if you get a cleaning of course they target all the teeth but down there a lot of people seem to have a lot of buildup so make sure you hit that area with this type of toothbrush you're not going like this. If you notice, I just went over it and slid it across. Let me show you guys the setting on the toothbrush, right? Hold on. If I press too hard, you see that light? That light is indicating that I'm brushing far too aggressively. So remember, if you're using one of these type of toothbrushes, don't push hard. You're gonna break down your enamel. You cannot grow enamel back. Once the enamel is gone, you get down to an area called dentin, and that's the yellow part. So that enamel keeps you on the white side. Let me go back to brushing my teeth because technically I do have to get myself together to get out of the house. So let's go again. Let's just grab some more product. Top teeth. And I'm, I'm only stopping just to share with you guys. You only have to brush your teeth for two to three minutes. Anything under that is not enough time to clean your mouth. This product is coconut oil based. If you look at the texture, hold on, let me just grab this. Uh, where are we at? You see, it's a little gritty, but that's the bicarbonate. The bicarbonate is what's going to help alkalize the teeth. I mean, alkalize the mouth. Might as well use the rest of this product. I'm not throwing it out. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to call that done. 
but you have to tongue scrape. And it's not my tongue scraper. It's my tongue scraper. Oh my gosh, this might be yucky. <laughs> I'm gonna share. This is what came off of my tongue overnight. Overnight, bacteria seems to brew in the mouth, mixed with the acid, and you end up with gunk, technically, on your tongue. So, in order to ensure that your mouth is fully clean, you scrape. And rinse. Uh, I think it's important for people to know that when you hold your toothbrush, I'll grab a traditional toothbrush. When you grab, actually, forget about a traditional toothbrush. I have my Just Jacks toothbrush. Let me show you guys what this looks like. For those of you that are too aggressive when you brush, look at the bristles. This is actually super soft. It's almost impossible to damage your enamel, but you still shouldn't be applying a ton of pressure. So when you hold, the hold is very light. You only need, and when you hit the sides, you're going to go in like a, a degree, an angle. It's like this. It's almost like you're polishing your teeth instead of like, Look at the difference between these. See how hard this is versus how soft you could just. Very different experiences. I keep this one for emergencies, meaning if I'm rushing out of the house, I'll use this one because I, I know I'm gentle enough to use it and I'll be able to clean my teeth quickly. This one I prefer in the morning. So this is my to-go in the morning. This is my evening. Two totally different things. Hold on, let's close this. Let me switch the camera. What I have noted about people and how they brush their teeth. You ever notice some people still have bad breath even after they brush in the morning? I think it's because they don't clean their tongue. And I'm not certain, and sometimes it's cavities. Uh, Cavities and rot <laughs> create that. Let's guess we're in here. We're gonna clean our face together. El fluoro es tóxico, pero mucha gente no sabe. Yes. So what? What he just said. Let me wipe this down. Is that fluoride is toxic, and a lot of people don't understand that. You'll find mixed information about fluoride. Some people believe fluoride is great. Um, there's a lot of studies that indicate that it is. But if you guys don't know the history behind how fluoride came to be used, particularly in America, it's from waste. They decided to find a way to make the waste useful and then decided to promote it and run uh, studies to indicate that it's good for you. So they mix it in our water, they mix it in our toothpaste. When they've done, you know, when someone passes away, they'll do an autopsy. I read a study that said that people with Alzheimer's tend to have um, a calcified, a calcified uh, pineal gland. And there is a direct correlation between fluoride use and that calcification. Now, more people that have Alzheimer's have that uh, area that's calcified. I don't know, I, I would avoid using it. That was part of what made me start my journey and why I stopped using it. Um, I don't have any cavities. But I am diligent and careful about how I brush my teeth. I have a friend that has beautiful teeth and he still managed to damage his, his, uh, one of his molars because he uses a um, Sonicare, but he applies too much pressure and he damaged his enamel and messed up his, his tooth. So be cautious when you're applying pressure. And today, what are we using? I'm using Tatcha to uh, clean my face. I don't know what you guys use, but this morning I wanted to get a little deeper 
in terms of a scrub. Let me add a little water so you guys can see the foaming agent. See, it does create some foam. I try to avoid products that have sulfates, particularly with toothpaste. Well, I only use just Jax. I've been using it for almost, what, eight years? And also, I mean, I get a lot of you know, don't run the sink just be, I mean, the faucet just because you're brushing your teeth. You're not using water throughout the whole experience. So it's important not to just be, to not be wasteful. Should we comb our hair together? I'm going to, I have to shower because I'm going to go to the gym this morning. But <clears throat> you guys, look at all this new growth of gray. I, I was talking to my honey this morning, like, I want to get rid of these grays, but I'm letting it stay. Um, Lo says, what products do you use? So this morning for my teeth, I'm just using the Clove uh, formula from Just Jack's Toothpaste. And the Clove helps if you have any recession, any swelling, any bleeding, if you have cavities. It's coconut oil based. So that's the antibacterial part of the product and the clove is just has all these other benefits everyone thinks that you know mint is great mint is a good taste but it doesn't provide any but actual benefits so it's not my go-to oh goodness i'm all you guys my hair has been really really going through the motions it's always in a ponytail i'm always sweating when I work out. So to keep it healthy, I just do a leave-in conditioner. And that's that's it. I'm really basic with my care for my for my hair. If you want to stop the strays and the flyaways, a little bit of product goes along with beautiful. I have some little white hair. I'm 33 and it's okay. Well, I have a lot. I have what feels like a lot of grays. So I'm adjusting. For so I've been getting, I've been growing gray hair since I was like 16. And it's not stress related, it's genetic. All right. Make this bad boy look neat. My hair is now at a length where I can't leave it loose at the gym. So ponytail it is. Hold up. Look at that, look at that streak of gray. baby bun because I don't have a whole lot all the loose hair that came out while I brushed close enough close enough uh, this this was gifted to me by my good friend Aisha. And it's basically, um, it's a cleansing water. You, you could use it as a toner if you want. Hold on, let me wash my hands. I don't wanna put the hair product on my face. So, and this, you just pour it into your hand. It helps whatever product you put on after, it absorbs into your skin much better than just applying uh, a lotion. So it's, it serves as a toner. So after you wash your face, it makes your skin acidic. Adding the toner makes you more alkaline than whatever product you put in, it seeps into the skin better. So I used, what did I use this morning? The Deep Cleanse from Tatcha followed by SK2, 
they're like miracle water then it this is a water cream from tatcha look how beautiful the packaging is y'all I, I just decided to share part of my morning routine with you guys <laughs> because this is my way of saying hello i know i haven't seen you guys hold on let me take this out how cute is this so this is a spatula that it comes with so you don't contaminate the product you grab a little bit close your product let the water the cleansing water like get into your skin moisturize I think the signs of aging really start to show in this area first everyone's different but so now I'm all in there and some people might argue that this isn't a good practice but I'm old school in this way Vaseline it's my way of looking made up but not actually putting on any makeup I put a little bit here to seal in the product the brows of course get a little business very basic very simple beauty routine I, I don't think you have to spend a whole lot to keep yourself together you should spend some if you care about skin but voila we're gonna go pick out the gym clothes come on, we're going you guys get to come with me this morning and guess who did laundry yesterday oh lord but it's kind of cold in new york today so we're going with the long sleeve Nice little compression piece. What color bottom? Gray on gray. It's kind of gray on blue. Gray on blue. That's what I want. Blue pants. <clears throat> blue. Maybe the sports bra under there. You know what? I'll just use. This sports bra, I'm in a blue kind of mood, blues and grays. Let me, oh my gosh, you guys, you have no idea how sore I am. I'm sorry. Ow. All the whining you're going to hear is because my butt hurts. My, my hip hurts. Ow. My hamstrings. I've really been attacking my hamstrings because I feel like I've just been neglecting, neglecting. Look at that. Kind of looks like I'm glowing, but I'm not. Well, sort of. See, the products do help you glow, but you seal it off with Vaseline and voila. It's kind of like a little fresh face situation. <clears throat> Hold on. So for those of you that uh, came in, good morning. I know Max is from Spain. Lo, where are you from? <laughs> Lo say hola, mi amor. Hi, Lo. So, Lo, you speak Spanish? So, there's a lot of Latinos in here this morning. I love that. I don't know if you guys know, but uh, I heard through the grapevine that it's Men's Mental Health Awareness Month. And I was so unaware of that. Mental health is so important. And if you have a man or men in your life, it's make sure that they feel loved and appreciated. Because I know traditionally it's always been men are supposed to provide and protect um for those men that do that that oh from harlem lowe's from harlem for those men that do offer that thank you you are much appreciated um <clears throat> father's day oh it's luisa hi luisa como estas i remember you changed your name okay got you um so luisa because you're in harlem i heard about harlem night market but i have not gone do you think it's worth going um, and what's there if you've been or if you're familiar because <clears throat> I'd like to check it out oh my gosh let's get let's get some water in my body to start the day because I haven't eaten anything yesterday you guys I did not I had so many things I need to see get done 
I'll show you guys what I ate yesterday. Tuna. Whenever I make tuna, I have to rinse the can. Um, I have to rinse the can because otherwise it just smell and I didn't put out my recycling. Um, I've changed my diet. I kind of cut back drastically on eating chicken, on eating beef, uh, on eating pork. I just, my body needed a break. So, um, oh, Louisa, uh, Louisa says she's never been to um, Harlem Night Market. I want to check it out and see what it's about. Um, but this week, haven't really been consuming meat. I just, I needed a break. I needed a hiatus. And what I have found is that I use the bathroom way more. Hold on, I gotta get some paper towels. I can reach. Ugh, I can't reach. This is chopstick. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, so I, I've been using the bathroom so much more. Way less bloating. Um, it's Shark Week over here, so... Um, I've been a little tired, so I don't know if the me being extra tired has to do with the diet change or if it's my menstrual. Hi, um, Sean Boy Terry. Hola, hola. Where are you from, Sean Boy? Um, but yeah, like, no more meat for me. I need a break. Sean Boy says I'm your big fan. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the love. <clears throat> I... I don't want to eat meat anymore, guys. And what I've noted is that, like, I don't think it's absolutely necessary to consume that stuff. My only concern is, like, okay, where am I getting the protein from? Am I getting enough? And I'm trying to source it from, like, seeds and so hemp seeds, pumpkin seeds, chickpeas, things like that. But my body needed a break, man. If you don't pay attention to your body, you'll never know what you are in need of. And right now, what I um, looked up was a, a, a natural supplement called berberine. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but it really helps. I'm also... Oh, so Starboy says he sees all my workouts. Hopefully, you try some of them. If you've seen them, I hope that you do some of them. Um, it really has changed uh, the way I look. The way, Like, my upper body, my posture has changed so drastically that last video that I posted, I did a side by side because I was curious to see what I looked like last year. Totally different. My bone structure <laughs> looks, even looks different. I guess because some of the fat wears off and you get to see um, more of the structure of your face. I don't know what to eat. That is a daily struggle. If I don't do food prep because I have too much going on, I struggle with finding what to eat and then I don't eat enough. Or sometimes I'll go and want to eat junk, and that's not how I want to live. Like last night, I was starving. So I ate some bread with um, a slice of bread with peanut butter, honey, and sea salt. That was like my late night snack. And I think that's a little carb dense, but I needed it. I trained for three hours yesterday and um, did a ton of laundry. Besides this, I did like three other giant loads that I had to fold and stuff. It was exhausting. <clears throat> but today we're going to, I'm going to train and I want to learn how to run. So my stride, I don't land on my feet the way I should. Um, I land more flat where I should be landing more on this part. So I'm going to work on that today. Max says he's a vegetarian since he was 12 years old and now 33. It's okay. Not vegan. I'm vegetarian. I eat fish and eggs. Um, and I don't use proteins, but I buy amino acids, collagen, and magnesium. Okay. I totally understood all your English. So don't apologize, Max, for your English, because I understood everything that you said. Um, I do source some protein from, like, protein powders. I know collagen is comes from bovine. That comes from cows. Um, but let's see when this berberine gets in. I'm going to give you guys feedback on how that um, altered my mood, and my cravings. Uh, Neta is here. Hi, Neta. Net Neta says, I stopped eating meat too. You can get your protein from beans, mushrooms, etc. Tabitha Brown has some good recipes and Dr. Bobby Price is someone you should watch. He's a vegan. Thank you. You know, like, I feel like if, if I wanted to go vegan, I would have to really get creative because I've done it before and I, I did get frustrated. But at this point, 
before the first time I did it, it was for ethical purposes, like on a more morality um, based decision. But now it's just like my body is asking for more, more fruit, more vegetables. That's all I want. And I might lose a little bit of my, um, my muscles. <laughs> and but that's so I'm okay with that. I, I foresee that happening. Based on the science, the science indicates that the muscle needs the proteins. And I know I'm not going to be able to eat that much food in terms of eating all those mushrooms and <laughs> and beans. I'm not. I'm Latina and I am beaned out, bro. <laughs> I am so beaned out. But hold on. This morning I'm gonna start with some water. Remember we? Were, I was doing. Let's start that way today. Hold on. Lime. I haven't felt this sore in so long. I'm like struggling. The idea is to start with water and some lime. Hi, Patrick. Who, Patrick, you're funny. I remember you from our last live that you told me you were at the park. I know a, a few people have made inquiries about where that park is. It's here. It's in Brooklyn. It's in um, Bed-Stuy. It's a really nice park. It's so ugly out today. There will be no park situations for me today. Oh, gosh. So I did so many push-ups yesterday. I'm like beat up, man my arms everything and I have like what is it slow offset soreness I don't even know what it's called but I'm sore from Monday still <laughs> and then I found new body parts to like hit up all right Ugh, whatever I'm just this is what we're doing I squeeze as much as I could because my body doesn't feel like let's see Neta says, and you look amazing, girl. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Thank you. You know, part of the wellness journey has everything to do with the long term, but the immediate effects is um, you kind of look, you start to look healthier. You really do. I read this thing about like how, you know, we misunderstand that when a person is overweight, they can still be healthy. I completely agree with that. Um, I just landed in a space where I want to be healthy. I want to look healthy. I want to move fast if I need to. Um, the more mobility I have, the more long-term benefits I'll have. Peel the lime and eat it. Peel the lime and eat eat the inside? Because I'm not eating the skin. Woo. My sister actually... She has this, this method, so she peels off the skin and then the rest of it just gets completely blended and that's how she makes her drinks. My sister has lost about 17 pounds in the last like five weeks. Isn't that remarkable? So she just takes, she's been drinking, I sent her a thing of moringa, so she's been drinking her moringa every day. Um, she's added berberine and she's walking. My sister just turned 50 and I'm so very proud of her because we have been worrying about her getting healthy. She has like this wonderful family, amazing career. Her kids are doing excellent, but she does not take care of her health. And I argue with her like, if you are not healthy, how are you going to take care of your family? How can you tell these kids to be this way and you're not? Um, so I'm really, really proud of her. Shout out to my sister. I'll be there over the weekend. Um, I'm gonna go live while I'm there. And I'm forcing my family to do like a, just stretching because they are not active like that. So I just want us all to stretch. I did it with them for my birthday. And my mother is so into it. She's like, Can you, are you gonna stretch me? Like, come stretch me. <laughs> I don't think I give good massages, but apparently I do because I gave my sister a massage and it helped her. She has fibromyalgia. And if you're familiar, that is an autoimmune disease. There are tons of autoimmune diseases, but it causes a lot of pain because the nerve endings are overactive. 
So if any of you are familiar with autoimmune diseases, I think that a lot of it can be managed with a shift in diet and activity. <clears throat> Doctors will put you on things that are like steroids, um, endomethacin, uh, naproxen, all these things to just kind of manage the pain, but you could change how you eat and start to manage the pain. This is just so not good. I'm sorry. I do it because it's supposed to be good for me, but taste-wise, I'm like, boo. Hold on. Let's go sit. <sighs> so much pain. So tell me, guys, do you have any questions for me before I go fully get myself together? for the day i'm gonna go to the gym this morning then i have to do production then i have to do fulfillment and then i'm done with my work day <coughs> oh and then by the way friday friday evening i will be live um from the studio and i'm gonna be doing the first podcast it's a group of women um, all successful in their own rights. And we are just going to be talking about girl things, men, um, uh, wellness, mental health challenges, uh, where the disconnect is between the male and female, um, bond, those kind of things we're going to touch on. But I really, I really want to introduce berberine, but I don't want to introduce it until I've been on it for several weeks to see how my body reacts. So berberine goes into your body and it adjusts how you're responding to sugar. It controls your blood sugar levels. So this is actually great for diabetics or people that have really intense sweet tooth. Like, um, and for women with endometriosis, um, cysts, any issues in the reproductive area for women, this stuff is supposed to be amazing. <clears throat> have you been to the West Coast? Patrick asked if I've been to the West Coast. Yes. I used to spend a lot of time in Los Angeles, particularly in Koreatown. Um, I used to spend a lot of time in Venice. And uh, what's that other area? Manhattan Beach. There's a place called Manhattan Beach that I liked. It, lots of surfing. Um, I like that a lot. I'm not a good surfer, but I would go and, and attempt to surf. <laughs> the water's a little cold there, though. It doesn't feel right until about August. So to answer your question, yes. Max said, you could do a rest day routine. Ah, I wonder, I haven't done a full rest day where I don't move, <clears throat> but my body just needs to continuously move. I feel like too many days of rest will make me stiff and I'm afraid. This is a fear that I could express. And, you know, people ask what keeps me motivated and I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Part of my motivation comes out of fear and the fear the reason i'll train almost every day i fear that if i don't i will fall off the wagon and not be consistent and just like not have my habit or my routine anymore <clears throat> so it has a lot to do with fear hold on guys <coughs> excuse me this is my life every morning the the i get congested not every morning, but this time of year, this is like the norm. It's starting to get a whole lot better. So no, I'm not sick. I just, I suffer from allergies. Like I'm allergic to dust and it sucks, but I mean, it, it could be worse because at one point my skin was reacting to, um, to all of that stuff. And now it's like much, much better. I wish I could somehow just take you guys with me to the gym <laughs> but i can't not today i'm gonna get out of here probably like in the next 20 minutes i have to bathe think my outfit what kind of content would you guys like to see i know i get a lot of inquiries about food but food i haven't really been great at food prep so i haven't been able to share stuff like that but my style of training has changed again and I'm targeting, guys, by the way, I'm giving up on, not giving up, but I'm done with the pull-up thing. Let me, I'm going to tell you guys why. 
So I was out the other day and this guy started asking me like if I was a trainer or whatever. I'm like, yeah, we chatted. And then he asked me if I am into MMA and I'm like, yeah, I don't watch it. He's like, no, do you fight? And I'm like, no, like why? Like whatever in one ear out the other, no problem. But over the, the weekend, I was in this store and this man was telling me, you know, that I have a really great physique. He could tell I, could, I work out. I'm like, yeah. He's like, are you like, do you fight? Are you in jujitsu or something? And I'm like, if, if men start to ask you if you fight, that means that your arms are starting to look a certain type of way. And I didn't like that. <laughs> I don't want to look like I fight. I don't want to look that um, brolic. That was never the goal in wanting to do pull-ups. And the guy specifically said, he's like, you're because you're back. I'm like, oh, oh. Not to knock any of the girls that are super defined like that, but that's not what I want for my, for my aesthetic. So I got to chill out on the pull-ups because my body has been responding really well and my arms have changed, but I don't want to be diesel. I most certainly don't want to look like I'm beating boys up, okay? And yeah, no. So no more pull-ups. I'm never going to not do push-ups. I am going to still hit my triceps up, a little bit of bicep work, but the pull-ups got to go on hold because I am getting broader. I, and I... <laughs> no. <laughs> it's hard enough out here. That I'm going to have men thinking that I'm a threat to them. That's crazy. I'm like, I'm not that big. Mm -mm. I don't even... We should go see what I'm weighing these days because I have no idea. I didn't weigh myself not once this week. Because... When you're on your menstrual, you do uh, retain more water. It causes a little bloating. You might eat a little out of pocket because you have cravings. I'm like, I'm not doing it to myself. I'm not adding any unnecessary pressures to my life this week. Not at all. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Hold on. But yeah, I just wanted to come in and talk about oral hygiene. Because it's really important and a lot of us... Our parents taught us the best of what they knew. <laughs> Smash the back. Ponte fuerte. Oh my gosh, no. Netta says, so I'm 31 and my left knee has been bothering me. And it does click when I walk up the stairs. Too. too I'm too young for this. So what did you do to help your knees? Oh my gosh. I'm going to find a photo and I'm going to post it in my community so you can see what my knees used to look like. They used to swell and get red. Um, so to rehab the knee, I would say... Oh, do I have this stuff here? There's different methods, but I did a lot of squatting and not with weights, right? I'm still working on the depth of it, lunges. Um, it took me like a year to feel confident enough to do leg extensions because if your knee is not strong, leg extensions are a bad idea. Uh, walk backwards on the treadmill, or even if you're at a track, jog backwards you're going to build up the muscles in your quad area and that's going to help you with the knee. Um, lots of stretching, lots of stretching. That the, um, what's another goodie? If your knee is weak and you build up uh, more strength in your hamstring area, that's going to be to your benefit. And then the this muscle, this little muscle here. Oh my gosh, y'all look so raggedy. I'm probably ashy, but let me show you guys. Well, let me show this to Netta. Something that you could do that's easy at home. You just, as you're watching TV, lay up in bed and just flex your foot forward. And that is going to help you strengthen this part of your leg. I've never had muscles there. And I have muscles there. And I really think that's attributed to helping me out with my knee. Um, and there are also supplements that you can take. Um, anything that has like glucosamine, uh, certain fish oils those help a lot croc gang yes my little crocs i love my crocs this is my my forever house shoe <coughs> um what else does help with my knee just be consistent consistent at working at it and then once you start to feel strong right you could add a little bit of weight but go light <clears throat> like you don't have to do anything particularly heavy to build up your knees um the bulgarian the Bulgarian split squat is beautiful. That's going to really make your your butt stronger, your hips. But you get to kind of gauge how strong your knee is, right? But don't do that until you've really gotten yourself acclimated to doing the, the squats and doing the lunges. 
because I couldn't even lunge last summer. That's how jacked up my knees were. I would get so much inflammation and then it just went away. I guess everything just got strong. Remember, I don't have, <clears throat> my knees still click. So don't even trip about the sound. <laughs> I think that's a, that's a rite of passage as you start to age the clicking sound. So don't worry about the sound. It's just how it feels. <clears throat> yeah, those are my recommendations. Hold on. <clears throat> In my right knee, I have no cartilage whatsoever. Left knee, full of scar tissue. I have a specialist for my condition. I have a rheumatologist. When I was very, very young in my teenage years, I got diagnosed with um, rheumatoid, uh, rheumatoid arthritis. When I changed my diet, um, like by my second year in, all of those markers that indicated that um, there was inflammation and all those markers that come up positive in the autoimmune world, a lot of them turned to negatives for me. So diet. And I don't know, Netta, if you're overweight, but if you are overweight, you're adding more stress to your joints. So try to manage the weight a little and you'll, you'll find um, an improvement there as well. And if you could avoid wearing heels, don't wear them. Don't wear heels. I love heels on a sexy date night, but you do not need to wear heels if you have knee issues. It's not a good idea. Oh my gosh, my, my comforter, not comforter, my um, fitted, folding fitted sheets is crazy. I was 194 pounds in 2021, now I'm 150. That's amazing, congratulations. That's really great. And you've kept the weight off. That's amazing. I meet so many people that go up and down. But um, kudos to you. How tall are you? <clears throat> and by the way, 150 is a beautiful number. <laughs> it's like, I'm super, like, that's dope. I, if I was 150 pounds, I'd look like a cyborg. I'm only 5'6", but the way my frame is, I don't know that 150 would look like good on me. I, I in fact, I know it wouldn't. <laughs> not, not anymore. Now that I've gotten used to my grown woman size, I'm like, I don't know. But 150, that's a lightweight. Whatever height you are, <clears throat> that is a lightweight if you're a woman. So, yeah. Um, yes, ma'am. This is the most consistent I've been with anything. Thank you, Jackie. I'm five, five. Kudos. That is a dope weight height ratio right there. I love that for you. Congratulations. Um, do, th do those things. Do things that are going to build up your tibialis. Do things that are going to build up your quads. Do things that are going to build up your hamstrings. Be consistent with those kind of exercise. Forget about weight. Use your body weight. And slow is how you grow. So for you to get stronger, if you still want to, you know, have a little bit of growth in the muscle area, when you go down, just go slowly. Or when you come up, go slowly. Do holds. Do holds. Bulletproof those knees. So Broly had me doing... Yes, you guys, let me just address that also. We are... Um, <laughs> we have been working on our relationship. Um... We are friends, we are seeing one another, we are back together. It's a much healthier space now. Um, I think we are finally learning each other in real life and really enjoying each other and it's not as combative. Um, even in the spaces where we are not in agreement, it's healthier and I'm really, really, really proud of that for both of us. So um, anyway, just wanted to get that out of the way. Out of the way. He had me doing assisted sissy squats. That, that right there will get your knees right. I was super sore, but I felt it. Like I felt it within a few days. Like I felt stronger. Um, so you could try those assisted. Remember, hold on to something as you go down. Um, yeah, but that's dope. Stay consistent, girl. I like that. I'm only an inch taller than you and my body wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to tolerate being at 150. I feel like I would just look too small. And I gather you probably look pretty small too. 150, 5'5". Five, five. Yeah. Um, Chauncey is recommending the Smith machine. Yeah. Like as you add on weights, instead of going for the free bar until you get acclimated. Do you uh, do weight training, Netta? Um, but... With the Smith, what I really appreciated uh, about the Smith is that you could lean back into the bar 
and add a lot more depth as you go down and it'll really um, assist you, for lack of a better word, <laughs> benefit you, assist you. Um, <clears throat> I just do the free bar now. Under the Smith machine, I do like to do uh, weighted lunges under there because if anything goes wrong, you just snap it back if it ever feels too heavy. Um, I've been neglecting my legs, you guys, for like the better part of this year because I was so hyper-focused on getting to my pull-up and now I still can't do a pull-up. I can do chin-ups though, which I think is incredible. But they say that the chin-up works a lot of the bicep and <clears throat> I don't feel like I have giant biceps. I do have some biceps now, but <clears throat> that, oh God, I'm sore. <laughs> like that motion, oh, I find it so hard to get my weight up on, on that thing. Anyway, Nata, I hope some of that stuff helps and kudos again to you for keeping that weight off and remaining consistent. I'm pretty sure that you're an inspiration to your family. Um, no, ma'am, I haven't been to the gym in a long time, so I need to get consistent with my workouts. You don't need a gym, girl. You do not need a gym. You can train right in your house. Let's... Oh, my God, I'm so sore. Oh, my God, I'm so sore. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Let's put you here. So this is for Neta. Um, let's put you here. So on your when you are working on your squat, if I could even get a squat in this morning, when you go down, see how slow? Hang out right there. Live there. Hang out there. Slowly. Work on your squat really slow. You'll you'll get stronger. In, in that knee area. Oh my God, you guys. That actually felt good. Look at that. As sore as I am, so moving initially sucks, but doing that just opened me up just a little bit. I heard like my groin area crack. Um, what's another goodie? Hold on, Netha. I can't, now I'm excited about going to work out because that, felt, that felt good. Hold on, here we go. Your lunge. Oh, this is a good place to start too. When you squat, you can grab anything. Hold on to something. This will help you in your depth. When you're doing something on one knee, if you're not accustomed to training that way, hold on to something. Don't be afraid to like use assistance. Everyone, oh, that's not full range. You're not doing it right. How, well, how the, f how? The F are people supposed to start if you can't do a full range. You start with assistance. <laughs> and if you really want those uh, those gains, the, the lunge, one leg at a time, one leg at a time. And if you were to get your, you, you were to get into the gym and you get on any of those uh, machines, try to connect with your abductors, adductors, that really helps. You have to, I do goblet squats. I was doing them yesterday and that is when my butt hurts. <laughs> I use my, I have those little, um, they look like door stoppers. So I put the door stoppers on and I do the goblet squats and my ass today is dead. I never get my butt to grow. So you want your butt to grow? Hip thrusts are your besties. Goblet squats. Um, what are those things called? Why is it evading me? It's a, it's a split squat. But the Bulgarian split squat is wonderful. Um, <clears throat> what else? Don't forget the sides, the adductors. You can just grab a weight. Ah! You can grab. Let's pretend this is a weight. Something. You put it right here. You hit the side. That's gonna help you round this part out. But for me, the hip thrust, phenomenal. <clears throat> I'm a big hip thrust girl. Um, and, and that, as you get strong, you probably should add weights if you want growth. But a lot of things about growth for your butt, it's a lot to do with food. You have to eat. <clears throat> 
Okay, hold on. Adara says, I keep losing my abs and my arms and my legs, flat hips and flat butt. So you're, um, so you're thin. So you're petite. So my abs, even when I'm fluffy, like I'm fluffy right now, they kind of just hang out there. <laughs> but <clears throat> I would say you have to up your calories. You have to eat the right foods. Up your protein if you want gains. Whatever your weight is, if you are 150 pounds, you should be eating in excess of 150 um, grams of protein. Yes, but it's hard to gain 10 to 20 pounds. I'm, you're 85. Are you effing with? You're 85 years old, Adara. You're kidding. What's 85? So, but to gain 10 to 20 pounds, your diet has to be on point, and you have to be consistent if you have a fast metabolism. Oh, pounds, sad, sad. Okay, you're 85 pounds. I thought you were saying you're 85 years old. Okay, well, how many calories are you putting in your body per day? And then how much protein are you putting in your body per day? <clears throat> and what's your relationship with food like? Because it sounds like you might under eat. If you are training and, and you're weighing 85 pounds, you might not be eating enough and you probably have a high metabolism. So, um... You know, you should go go to my Instagram, go on my DM. We can do like a like a one on one. We'll talk about it. We'll break it down. Um, the, I always recommend this to everybody. Use my plate. Wait, hold on. I've been working out for eight months, no growth, probably like a thousand a day, and not eating a lot. So, hold on. You know, your recommended calorie intake is supposed to be like twenty five hundred calories, and you just told me that you're eating one thousand calories. I burn through 1,000 calories per day. You need to eat almost triple the amount of what you're eating, plus your training. This is no good. That is why you're not putting on weight and you're not putting on muscles. If you want muscles, right? <clears throat> Go to my Instagram. It's just shocks to you. We'll talk about it. And why is your calorie intake so low? Is that on purpose? Or do you feel like you're not making enough time to eat? Like, let's talk about it. You could talk about it here, but like everybody's going to get involved and, and have input for you. But if you want it to, you said, Adara said, no wonder I have to skip to recover because I'm not eating and no Instagram. Okay. So my email is uh, justjacksinc at gmail. You can email me if you like. <clears throat> but yeah, babe, you got to eat more. You have to eat way more. Um, yeah, we got to work on that. Please email me. I'd love to help you. I would love to help you. Chauncey's giving you recommendations for carbohydrates that'll put some weight on you. <sighs> okay. Well, email me. Now I'm hungry, y'all. See, that's the thing about that water with lime. I feel like it makes me so hungry so fast. And I'm not used to eating in the morning like that. I know breakfast is important, Chauncey. You're right. Why can't I? Oh, there it is. Now I can get you guys taller and higher. All right, y'all. I'm going to go get a proper shower in, get my butt ready for the gym. So we're wearing blue today. Should we do blue or green? That's the last question that I have before I sign out. I like that blue outfit, but I'm feeling like green would make sense. I don't know why I skip breakfast and lunch. Adara, I don't know why either, but you have to eat. Um... 85 pounds is very, very, very small. So it sounds like you're starving yourself based on what you're telling me. I barely eat a snack and dinner while I only get less than a thousand calories. It sounds like your body's in starvation mode. There's no way for it to grow. You're not giving it the nutrients it needs. You're doing yourself a disservice, more harm than good. And believe it or not, being in that constant deficit could eventually start to affect your organs. So this is something that you, you're really gonna have to adjust. And Chauncey told you peanut butter. Peanut butter is your best friend. If you want something that's high in calories, has a little bit of protein, that's a goodie and so are oats. <clears throat> Petra says, I weigh 190 pounds, but I wanna go to 150. But I want to go to 150. How much calories should I take in? Um, if you're a man, I think your calorie uh, intake is supposed to be in excess of 2,500. 
So I would, if, if that is the case, then maybe bring it down. I wouldn't bring it down drastically. You want to be in a calorie deficit, but you could do that by training. That puts you in the negative. Um, and really losing one pound per week or even up to two pounds is, is like the healthy way to do it. You could do it rapidly. That would be something completely different. Um, but I don't know that rapid is great, you know. I don't know most people that lose weight pretty quickly. One, you end up with loose skin. Two, it doesn't stick. You end up yo-yoing because that deficit is not sustainable. So um, if you, if you want to like really break that down, we can go, we can talk about it on Instagram. I actually should do a thing of like the, the good foods and bad foods. But we all know, right? Processed foods you want to avoid. You want real foods. Um, ow, 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 you guys. The besties. <laughs> the sweet potatoes, the organic. Are these? The or yes, they are organic. Organic sweet potatoes. That is a really clean carbohydrate that you can consume. And it tastes good. Um, Netta says, wild rice, quinoa is really good too. Alkaline to the body and full for healthy carbs and fiber for Adara Nova. Um, I hope you reach your goals, girly. Health is wealth. Absolutely. I agree. Adara says, I'm picky and, and eat sugar and carbs for energy. I, I don't know my protein intake is low, but I don't eat vegetables or meat. So what do you eat? Ah, oh, I don't know. I don't know, Adara. Email me. Did you guys hear that? That was my stomach. That is what that that lime and water does to my belly. I don't understand why it does that. It's so like, it moves things, but then I'm like in starvation. Like I'm hungry. What do you use more in cardio? Jump rope or running? I do both, but usually run. So I'm I've been running. I've been running for my um for my cardio. You guys, I'm trying to get good at running. It's really hard, but I sprint. I don't do long distances. I try to do like a mile, mile and a half. And it's mostly sprint, walk, sprint, walk, sprint, walk. <clears throat> Adara says she eats cheese pizza and dessert. Eggos and my protein is like 15 grams of yogurt. Adara, cardio or burning calories bad for me since I'm trying to gain. I would focus on strength training, but before we go and talk about like what the strength training should be like that diet has to really shift gears like aggressively like do the complex carbs do the the oats do the sweet potatoes potatoes are your friend for your weight you really need to like acclimate to adding even bananas would be good good for you um actually so like i don't eat a lot of bananas because I find that they're like really carb dense. But sometimes I will. And it, that would be my meal supplement when I have it in a shake. So I won't eat because I don't feel like eating. So that's what I'll put in my body. Because where if I don't feel like eating, drinking it is the easiest way for me to get it in. I do not go without food. Can't. Um, hold on. Let's see what's in my fridge right now. I'm being embarrassed because I, I haven't really done groceries. All right, let's take a look. Pumpkin, the bread that I ate late, grains almighty, gut balance, whatever that means. Let's see. Let me actually close this because I do this in there. All right, eggs, beets. Um, this is lime for the morning. The grapefruit that I'll have, like a half a grapefruit, whatever I eat. Spinach, pumpkin, asparagus. I have to cook this today. This is the dairy that I actually put in my body. Greek yogurt. Um, my protein milk. Yes, there's pickles in here. There has to be pickles. I love pickles. But I haven't really been eating them. So sometimes when I want something salty... I'll just grab that. It's like uh, my healthy snack. Um, I like this stuff. Hold on. <laughs> Jalapeno sauce. I have no idea what's in it, but it's really spicy and I love it. Hold on. Put this back. I actually use real butter. I'm not. I have the this 
stuff that my mom bought this for me. But once I saw that it has palm oil and canola soy, I'm like, ah. So I just stick to the real butter. If I'm going to have butter, I'm having real butter. Back. Um, my raw honey. This, this stuff, you guys, look at how it looks. Oh, this one's closed. I have an open one. Hold on. It looks like candy. Oh, you guys. But yeah, that's my fridge. It's pretty, pretty basic. Hold on. Here. Dude. I switched the camera. So I have beef patties in here. I have beef patties for my company because if we want emergency food. These shrimp burgers that I never eat blueberries there's chicken broccoli turkey burgers and some ray and nephew <laughs> and some ray and nephew if you guys have ow, ever had ray and nephew you know that's like you can only really have one hold on let's scroll um yes oh chauncey had asked if there's any yogurt yes i love greek yogurt <clears throat> uh, says take a tablespoon of sea moss every morning for a month jacks um i've never tried sea moss i think i had it in a shake once but i've never bought it for the house yeah you have to get your veggies in big time that's cool if you don't eat meat but you need you need your veggies fruits unrefined carbs like spelt teff rye amaranth sweet potatoes those are all healthy carbs that was from netta and she's like telling um adara to consume this stuff um netta says yes yes like chauncey barnes says sea moss gel is good for you full of vitamins and minerals but that's what so that's what i use my moringa for 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 those all those minerals i just take the moringa and that's my go-to um okay all right Adara. i think adara is trolling at this point because what did you just say <laughs> bye adara like i'm uh, i don't know if you're trolling but it sounds to me like you are because you said you're this is what she said. I, I love you, that you find food for yourself. I need to get a job to buy food, but I have no energy to work. So I will just rely on my boyfriend until I die. Girl, stop. <clears throat> Chauncey, did you hear my stomach make that noise? Because what? <laughs> First of that line, and I don't do it often because I was doing it for a week straight and I kept experiencing that where... Like it would move everything and I'm like, all right, I need to eat. Like that that feeling, I didn't like that. Um, I might just go back to the basics of a morning with moringa, but I had this little thing that that stirs it and it broke and I haven't replaced it and that's why I haven't been doing it. But anyway, y'all, for real, for real, I'm going to go. Chauncey, everybody, Neta Adera, it was really great hearing from you all. Um, Neta, if you're on Instagram, follow me on there and we'll chat. Like, I love talking to people about food. Like, it's so interesting. And I get to learn a whole lot of new things, too. Um, <clears throat> particularly about, like, like grains and stuff and, and other uh, real foods. Because since I gave up the whole vegan life, I stopped exploring. I stopped um, researching. And it's just, like, I consume the same stuff almost every day. It keeps me balanced and it's simple, but it does get boring. Anyway, you guys, be a blessing whenever possible. Thank you for saying hi. <laughs> Remember to take good care of your teeth. Um, that's it. That's all I have. Be a blessing. <clears throat> Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.